Aries. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Knight of Cups. This guy is smooth and knows how to walk the walk and talk the talk. I feel like you could be dealing with someone who knows how to say and do all the right things to sway your attention away from the things that aren't working. I feel like this person implies a lot but doesn't follow through. Like they know to say enough to get you to fill in the blanks with the rest in your mind but the truth is they have never said certain things. I feel like this is someone who apologises to you a lot to make things right. This should be a beautiful card, but I'm getting the vibe that you are too good for this person or at least are vibrating higher than them and maybe you just haven't realised it yet. That's why it's a struggle. You guys aren't a match. Even if you want it to be, you deserve more than you're getting. Your obstacle is represented by the star card. Wish fulfilment, healing, dreams coming true. I feel like you honestly believe this was your wish come true or happy ever after, but as we can see on this card, the feminine is on her knees, possibly praying, holding on to this star wish. Your obstacle is to let go. If it is meant to stay, it will. Her heart chakra on this card is lit up as well. I feel like your heart is yearning for so much more. You may even have different love languages with this person and it makes it extremely difficult to meet each other's needs. I feel like you've done everything in your power to please them, but they not so much. In the past, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like the longer this situation continues, the more you lose your passion for it. You've you're tired of trying to hold everything together. The situation is draining you. In the future, we have the Five of Pentacles. The feminine on this card sits on the ground, locked outside a massive door, exhausted. She looks weathered from everything she has been through. And this is a card of major grief, loss, disappointment and abandonment. However, I feel like it was time for this chapter to end. The universe has the key leaning against, leaning against the door for the feminine when she decides to look up, get up and open the door to her next chapter. I feel like this has been a long time coming and once you rest and rejuvenate your energy you will be ready to go a lot quicker than you think. As this situation took so long to come to an end you are actually releasing and healing from it whilst you are still in it. Let's grab an oracle card from the wisdom of the oracle deck. Can we please get a message for Aries? Aries. We've got two in the reverse. Card 40, co-create, and card 36, come to the edge. And they both came out in reverse. I'll just read those to you from the book. Thirty-six. Okay, protection message. Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. Now is a time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left un alone and unloved. Oh, the drama of it all. False evidence appearing real is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of the fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you. And then card 40. You are trying too hard to create all that you desire without the nurturing, vital force of spirit. Perhaps you are in creative slump, suffering writer's block, facing a monumental task but unable to decide on your first step, so you just avoid doing anything. Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it all has to come down to you? Inspiration means the drawing in of divine guidance. You must tap into spirit, 
not simply yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Two minds are greater than one, so co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. That's what I had for you, Aries. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.